guys. So I wanted to explain how uh, dairy almost killed me here. I did a video on this before, but uh, my cholesterol in 2010 and 11 was uh, 219 here. And uh, one thing to note is this triglycerides were really high, 436. This is in um, milligrams per deciliter. And they couldn't calculate the LDL because the triglycerides were so high. So I couldn't even get an LDL reading, so that's, that's pretty scary. And then in, uh, I, I waited another six or seven months and did another reading. And uh, you can see that the cholesterol is still pretty high, 205. A lot of people have much higher than that. And um, the LDL is pretty high. And the, if you have, studies show that if you have a cholesterol, total cholesterol below 150, that you're essentially heart attack proof. So you can see here that this cholesterol over time would, would uh, lead to most likely heart, serious heart problems like um, heart attack and stroke from these high cholesterol readings. And this, the funny thing is, this was, the reason I, I talk about dairy here is that this was when I didn't eat any animal, any meat or fish or anything like that. It was all uh, cheese, like dairy products, cheese, sour cream, um, and that type of thing. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty uh, obvious that the, the dairy was causing me some serious problems. Because there, was, there wasn't any uh, meat, chicken, fish, turkey, or anything like that to, um, to relate to this problem. And so when I switched to eating a plant-based diet, um, I've, my cholesterol went down to 112.5. So this is millimoles per liter, but this, this column here is milligrams per deciliter. And um, the, the LDL went down to 60. And then what happens is the HDL goes down, and it's sometimes they consider that to be a little bit low. But when you don't have LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, you don't need as much HDL. So this is not really a problem at all as far as um, having lower HDL values because it doesn't need the good cholesterol doesn't need to be there as much to clean out the bad L cholesterol. So 112 is absolutely incredible. Um, it's, you know, obviously one below 150 is heart attack proof. And um, the other thing is that I lost 35 pounds, which, you know, a lot of times obesity or, or having extra weight is, is, a, is a health risk as well. Um, but uh, the, the big thing I wanted to point out was the, the, uh, the, the cholesterol. And so, you know, it really did almost kill me. I had, I had a lot of back troubles. I had a lower back. You know, I'd be trying to get up uh, off the couch. I'd have a lot of pain in my lower back. And they say that the blood vessels that go to your heart and that clog up also smaller ones go to your, to your back, to the nerves and your spine, and uh, they can get clogged up too. There's so many things. People have that, are, uh, the, uh, are, you know, basically anything, capillaries and things that go to your, um, to your eye, they can, they can cause um, issues there with sight. And um, also um, erectile dysfunction, stuff like that. So, you know, all these vessels are getting clogged up over time with uh, cholesterol. And um, so, yeah, this is a big one for heart disease, especially. And so I'm really happy about that. I was able to break dairy, as they say. And so what I eat now is a plant-based diet. And for people that aren't familiar you know, that could sound like eating um, vegetables and salad and stuff, but really, there's so many amazing foods. Um, I have a pizza. Uh, this is like kind of a, a thick, deep dish type thing where I put sauce and you put, um, you know, whatever veggies you like on there. You, there's even like um, cheeses you can make that uh, use tapioca starch and they get that stretchy feeling. With, you can use potatoes as well. It doesn't have to be a, a nut-based. So if you, if you, but I got used to not having uh, cheese on on uh, my food, pretty much. I have had, uh, this is like what I call bean sedillas. These are like quesadillas, but without the cheese. So there's like refried beans in there, onions, green pepper, salsa, really tasty. Um, here's a dish, mashed potatoes and gravy with you know peas and corn, super filling. I've got, uh, recently I made these shredded hash browns, which is, 
and it's basically like an omelet, but I use shredded hash browns instead of eggs, and I put all my veggies in there. And you can eat, there's even a cheese sauce recipe that I have that um, you can go on my website. And you know, like I say, losing the extra fat is great. Um, I've always had fat around my stomach, and um, to to lose that fat, belly fat is shown to have a lot of heart, uh, a lot of problems, health, you know, related to health issues. Um, the abdominal fat that gets in, in the, the brown fat, the stuff that's in the um, around the organs as well. So we're super happy about um, the losing that fat that I've that kind of always had around my waist was like 38, and I got that down to 38 or 40 actually, and I got that down to uh, 32, and uh, yeah, super happy about that. Let's see what else can we show? Oatmeal, potatoes, tacos. Here's some, I bake my own shells here, and you can put um, refi beans or any kind of bean in there, salsa, guacamole, onions, green pepper, stuff like that. Here's a picture of uh, sort of a scallop potato. So I have a cheese sauce recipe, and I uh, bake those, and so that's great. There's a cauliflower wings. These are amazing. They, um, they're breaded, and you bake them, and you put barbecue sauce and t you know Tabasco or buffalo sauce, whatever you like. And I've got a ranch dip with celery and carrot sticks. That's so good. So you're not missing out on anything. There's so many tasty meals. Um, I have fries a lot. These are amazing. Baked, they're baked and crispy with ketchup or gravy. Um, you know, so a lot of times it's a lot of the oils and things like that that will add a lot of calories. But um, you can still eat a ton of amazing tasty food. So I hope that helps you guys. I just wanted to point out that I was able to break dairy and, um, and you know, avoid um, some of the nasty health effects that, that come with it over time. So, hope you guys like this. We'll talk to you guys later.